Hey guys, Merritt and Hondo from thermal-medics.com. Listen, Hondo's inside. It's 34 degrees out here right now. Got frost showing up on this heat pump here. Let's go ahead and just run it across. Not crazy frost like a lot of you see in the rest of the country, but for Phoenix, we had some rain yesterday, so we got a lot of moisture in the air. And that's what's gonna happen, is the air is pulled across that outdoor coil, which this is now your evaporator coil in heat pump mode. The temperature is below freezing, so we have to defrost this coil periodically to get that moisture off to allow this heat pump to absorb heat from the outside air. I know that sounds crazy, but believe it or not, there is enough heat in the outdoor air to be absorbed into the coil, into the refrigerant, to be moved inside, as well as the heat from the compression of the, uh, of the compressor actually working with the refrigerant and pumping it to your indoor coil. Now remember, in heat mode, on heat pumps, the reversing valve allows the magic to all happen in reverse. This now is basically your evaporator coil evaporator blower motor and then the indoor coil is your condenser and now you're just transferring that heat from the indoor the condenser into your house so it's pretty cool how it works but it does in heat mode you do have to deal with defrost and that's why we have the defrost control board defrost thermostats and other issues that we have to add on to heat pumps to make this thing work your refrigerator operates the same way over time the moisture uh, will attach to that evaporator coil in your refrigerator because it is below freezing and will freeze and periodically defrost and allows it to operate again. So what we're going to do is just jumper, this is a Lennox, so we have to, have to jumper the defrost thermostat itself as then cross the test pins to get this thing to go into defrost. We're running the heat mode now. What you're going to hear is the condenser fan motor turn off, the compressor to continue to run, and that reversing valve slide over and change direction. Essentially we're going into cooling mode, now pumping hot gas into this coil to defrost it. When temperature is satisfied, it will go back into, or the defrost thermostat will, will uh, once it's satisfied on temperature or it's got a preset time limit, then it will kick back into heat mode. So let's go ahead and do a quick test on that and see how it goes. gas into this coil. You see the ice starting to melt. You can see it right across there. It's slowly disappearing. And that defrost thermostat's constantly looking at the temperature, wondering when it's going to get back to our normal temperature and it can turn off then at that point. Defrost thermostat's right down to here. And you can see water just coming off the coil. Usually you get a nice steam rush, but that's only on, on units that are typically really, really iced up. A little bit of steam coming off of this one. Not as much fun though. Not those dramatic ones you get in the Midwest. There we go, we're dripping out the bottom good. The ice is melting off the coil. Compressor continues to run. Not a problem for the compressor to be doing this. It's doing exactly what it's supposed to be doing. And when temperature is satisfied, the defrost thermostat will, again, open up and the unit will come back into heat mode and we all good to go. There's a 35 degrees or so out here today. Anyway that's it guys as the unit finishes up its job it's going to go ahead and turn the first and valve will slide back over the condenser fan motor will turn back on or outdoor fan motor in this case heat pump and you see our unit is pretty much frost free. That's how it works guys. Take care from Merit and Hondo from thermal-medics.com. Talk to you soon, summer 2013, just around the corner. See ya.